Welcome back. This is Common Denominator. Um, I'm taking the time to do this video. This is going to be a different type of video. What I'm doing is I'm going to show you. Um, I decided to respond to a troll today. Um, and I did it because I wanted to have a record of it. I wanted to do a live experiment right there in YouTube so you could actually see the arguments they make and you can actually match it up against the videos that I've made deconstructing these foolish arguments and I'm gonna show you who this individual is you can actually see his name right there on screen he got his Facebook page open his name is Tory Jones his Facebook page is open it's public you can see all his posts, all his pictures. So what I'm gonna do, first thing I'm gonna do is I, I made a video on uh, Sarah Sutton Setti, who is one of these, um, one of these black power, uh, I don't know, I don't know if he's, he's one of these conscious, conscious, so-called conscious thinkers or conscious um, pseudo-scholars. Um, SETI is not, is not without enemies. He has plenty of enemies. I did a little bit of looking right here on the right on your screen. This, this individual who's also pretty bizarre this guy is, is is strange. He's very strange. His hair is strange. He's just a weirdo. Um, he's an enemy of Sutty. There's there's plenty of people who are up against Sutty. And here's Sutty here. This is Sutty. Sutty is and here's one of my videos. Hood Roach, uh, black conscious leader or Hood Roach, and you know the answer to that. He's a Hood Roach. All right, cool. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you down. This is a video I did. It's a uh, Sarah and Sutty, Sarah, Sarah, yes, yeah, Sarah, as in the female name, Sarah Sutton Sutty. Um, I don't know how you pronounce it. I really don't care. Follower gets unexpected reply. And I put unite with ghetto messy people for what? For what? Okay, for what? And basically in this video, I'm telling people, look, I, I have no interest in unity with people who bring down the collective value of the black community. I have no interest in anything with them, any sort of unity. I wish them peace. I wish them a long life and prosperity. Uh, but most of all, I wish them, I wish that they would change their ways and become decent, respectable leaders in the black community. Can you imagine leaders in, in other communities who talk like this and act like this? Um, j just imagine some white guy coming on camera and he's talking about he's a leader for the black community. And he's going to wake people up and help them become conscious about their identity and who, you know, and who they are as African people and their strengths and their their power and their history. And every other word out of his mouth is a racial slur, but not one that's aimed at another race, one that's actually aimed at his own race, something that was created by white racist people. And used by white racist people. But here you have a moron African American who is clearly mixed raced. He may not be 50 50, but he's probably somewhere around 70% black, 65 70% black, somewhere in that neighborhood, based on what I've learned through the ancestry. DNA findings and how people look. He's light skin as heck. Let's take a look at him. Okay. Here he is right here. Very, very light. Okay. So he can't even really claim to be black. If I were to cover his face and you would just see his arm, he could, he could pass for Latino. 
He could pass for Asian. He could pass for a lot of things. And this individual is claiming to be the the Moses, uh, you know, like the, the position of leadership to execute some sort of exodus, whether it be uh, a, a physical exodus or a leaving out from the country or a mental unshackling. OK, that sort of exodus from a mindset into something different into consciousness and this is and this is this is his platform but yet he's using the language of the oppressor so that will just tell you what kind of person he is he's a moron he's a clown and i've made that abundantly clear before now what we have is one of his followers okay we have one of his followers <clears throat> who goes by the name Tory Jones. Here he is. This is him. Um, he decides to come on my uh, on my page today on, under this video. Uh, he he obviously got triggered uh, by the video, and he decides to leave some some uh, some expert ghetto commentary for me for us to take a look at. Okay, he decides to leave some some expert commentary. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of his first commentary and then we'll look at mine. Tory Jones, you B-I-T-C-H niggas, just, just drop the T because, you know, we don't need the T. This is uh, ghetto English, Ebonics. Um, putting the T there would actually be anti-black. Um, we don't want to be, that would be white to actually spell that correctly. So, we don't want to put the T there. Now, this is an older man. He looks like he's about 47, 48, maybe 50. Okay. Um, and here he is typing like a like a like a teenager. Okay. But anyway, you B I T C H niggas just come out the woodwork. Damn. Well, at least he got that spelled correctly. Okay, so um, I'm gonna come. I'm gonna uh, now. Some may say I'm addressing the trolls. I'm not necessarily addressing him. What I'm doing is I'm showing you the anatomy of a troll. I want to show you what they're made of, of of a black ghetto hood roach, hood rat troll. I want to show you what they're made of. I want to show you who they are because I want to show you how my analysis of these people has been spot on. And how do I know this? How do I know? Because I used, I used to hang out with these fools, okay? I used to actually have friends who were like this. And I decided to leave. And I'm gonna tell my story about how I got out of this and how I got away from these people and why I did and why I decided not to speak like a fool anymore and why I decided to just speak in my natural voice. Um, you know, uh, I've been to college. I have a degree, um, I work professionally, and I I just decided to drop the antics, drop the minstrel show, to drop the coonery. That's exactly what it is. It's coonery. They think they like to point at others as being coons, this type of mindset. Okay, everybody else is a coon, but they are the the type. They are the original. They are the uh, quintessential black person, African person. And everyone must must acquiesce to them. Everyone must follow them. Okay? And I'm going to show you how foolish they are. I'm going to show you the mechanism of the black vortex, the black American vortex. And I talk about that in some other videos. Okay? I talk about the thought police. He's using thought police sort of trickery and um propaganda in his arguments now here, here we go i'm gonna i'm gonna break this down so here i put everyone take a look at this comment here's a perfect example of what i'm talking about this individual tory jones refers to other blacks as the n-word everything else he says could be a legitimate complaint but who cares what he thinks really all right cool so he refers to blacks as the n-word but as you'll see on his facebook page 
he likes to talk about white supremacy and here he has a a post on the term cracker and you'll notice that um he he actually uses uh crackers with a k and an s the racial slur um in in one of his posts to me okay and i'm going to show you i'm just going to show you how these people operate so here I say, I want everyone to see and understand how people who speak against low life, low class, ghetto trash culture infecting African America are targeted as the other. Okay, so I I am in his eyes, I'm not black. I'm something else. I'm I'm white. I want to be white. And he tells me in another post that I need to to start bleaching my skin and to dye my hair blonde. Which, funny enough, is what a lot of the hood rats are a lot of the hood rats are doing. Uh, that's another video, but uh, a lot of African American women in the ghetto who are practicing this philosophy of ghetto fabulous fab, fabulousness, they are actually bleaching their skin and wearing blonde weave. Okay? I kid you not. But he would not tell her to stop doing that, but he'll tell me to do it, okay? Because they're hypocrites. These, these black guys who are these hood roaches are hypocrites, and they don't realize they're hypocrites. But I'm going to show you um, how this black American vortex works and how I'm going to expose their hypocrisy in this video. Okay, so... Here, let me continue here. It says, because the thugs, the hood rats, and hood roaches are in charge and running things, and they are, and those who want progress and want to diminish the role of the thug, put out the light of the hood rat and hood roach, or B-I-T-C-H, niggas. Take a long look, black America. Take a long look. All right, like and subscribe to the channel. I'll continue to burn these low-life, culture-trashing Negroes in future shows. Thank you, everyone. All right, great. Now let's move on to the next, the next uh, person here. The next uh, comment. Excuse me. Here he is again, Tory Jones. Let me expand it. Common denominator. You're that. You're that black person we all talk about. Listen to you trying to talk better than the white man. You're a integrationist. That's spiritually and mentally sick. The masses don't give two F-U-C-K-S about what you're saying, man. And you will notice as you continue to post coon ASS videos like this. Ha, 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 ha. You're a cracker turned inside out. And trust me, bro. First of all, I'm not your bro. Trust me, bro. You're being laughed at. SETI is being requested all over the country and now out of out of the country, you fool. You're a Christian, you silly ASS man, so we know you are lost. Okay, let's break this down piece by piece. Here's my answer to him. Everyone, have a look at this. Exhibit number two. Who is we, in quotes, that this individual talks of. Here's my guess. The ghetto lowlife, every minority group in the world looks at in horror and that normal black people talk about. Okay, and this is true. Um, the reason why most black Americans don't talk about these hood, these lowlifes in the hood, the ones who are busy uh, killing everybody in Chicago, the ones who are selling your drugs in every black community, um, the ones who are uh, just doing damage across the black community. Th there's there's a, a gradient of damage that they're doing. I gave you some of the worst offenses, but this gentleman is just poisoned. He's teaching, he's probably, he's, he's, he's a racist, okay? He's a racist. Uh, but his racism in his mind is justified because of what has happened to African Americans. But what this piece of garbage racist won't ever discuss are the white people who 
were abolitionists against slavery, the white Christians who fought against slavery, the white Christians who and people who uh, marched along Dr. alongside Dr. King, the white people who supported the civil rights. Actually, one of my professors, a white man, um, one of my former professors from when I was an undergrad, marched along Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. And uh, what it, what he won't talk about is the white people who passed laws to create freedoms in America for African Americans, the white people who actually helped us uh, get to get to where we are today, so that he Tory Jones could just destroy it all by being a complete moron and following Sarah uh, Sarah Sutton Setti. Okay, but that's his choice. He has a freedom freedom of choice, but this is. This is the mentality of these people. It's complete hypocrisy. They, they're very selective with their history. They won't talk about these people who actually benefited blacks in the States, who actually fought for our rights, marched alongside of us, killed other white people who were enslaving blacks and who were chasing down blacks to enslave them. They won't talk about those people. Those people don't matter, okay? Everyone gets grouped into the same box. All white people are evil. See, and if this were true, we wouldn't be alive today. If this were true, we wouldn't have had Barack Obama and uh, his wife in the White House for eight years. If this were true, there were white people who actually voted for Obama. OK, and they came out and said they voted for Trump this time because Obama didn't help him. So if we're going to be factual and this is why this uh, this Hotep conscious move it. it they're not conscious of anything other than lies. They're conscious of lies that they tell each other. And I'm going to break them down at some point. There's a lot of nonsense in their movement. And um, I know this because I've watched a few of their videos. I've studied some, some of their uh, teachings. And, um, you know, they may think me of me as not being pro-Africa or knowing anything about Africa. But what I do know is the majority of African-Americans are not from Egypt. OK, uh, we're West African. I'm completely West African, did my DNA. OK, completely West African, not from Egypt. The majority of us are are from West Africa. OK, Mali, Senegal, Ghana, Nigeria. OK, all that, that whole coast right there. Uh, Benin, Togo. OK, all that. That's that's us. And, and he's one of them. OK, so. Um, these people are complete morons um, and, and, and any intelligent, uh, rational black person who looks at and, and who looks at these teachings. And, and, and the funny thing is, is, is a lot of them, they have some PH, so-called PhDs and so-called scholars, but they're not really scholars. They're, they're fake scholars. They're biased scholars. But I'll get back to that another time. Um, and yes, and for those who are listening, I'm very pro-Africa. I do a lot of research into Africa. I do a lot of research into the economies of Africa. Okay. Um, I do research into the languages of Africa. Um, I plan on studying Swahili. Um, I've got, uh, shoot, the license plate of my car has an African uh, girl's name. Okay. That means beautiful. Um, I have a beautiful car. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm the CEO of a company. Okay, uh, and uh, I, I I have a product that's unique uh, to this country. It's it's unique. It's something that I created, and I'm having manufactured. And my product, I have one of my products actually has an African name. Okay, so I have African friends, um, and I would like to move back to Africa or move to Africa sometime in the future. So I'm not this moron, Tory Jones. He has. It, the the knee jerk reaction from these hood rat hood roaches, uh, the knee jerk reaction is for any black person who doesn't speak ghetto bonics, who doesn't speak escaped slave, um, any black person who 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 doesn't fit their mold of what black is, the quintessential black man as they see themselves, any black person who doesn't fit this is automatically the other. They're a coon. They're, they're white. They want to be white. They want to be all these different things. See, 
And this is where the lack, this is where the ignorance and the lack of education comes in because what it is is they're unable to see pluralism within the African American community. They're they're unwilling, they're unable to see it. They everyone must be like them. And 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 I'll I'll quote this again. I've quoted it in other videos. There's a, a gentleman who has a YouTube page, black African American gentleman out of New York, and he mentioned that. Uh, he had a video on the African American community being a fascist state. Everyone must walk in lockstep. Everyone must be the same. Everyone must have the same beliefs. And this is your black American vortex that I speak about in one of my videos, uh, black American vortex thought police. Check out that video. If you haven't seen it, it talks about this mentality and it's a very poisonous, dangerous mentality. It's something like North Korea. Okay. It's like a giant cult. And he's in a cult. He's in a religious cult called, uh, I don't know what the official name is, but some people just call them Hoteps, okay, uh, Black Power Movement. But it's it's a cult because it has a religious component, okay, and it's powerful because of that religious component. And um, for those people who think I don't know anything about religion, well, I have a degree in religion, so you can just uh, silence that, okay? I, I know a thing or two about religion. I have a degree in it. All right, so he is essentially in within a cult, and this cult, um, it it it's teaching him a certain way to think around uh, these teachers who are elevated from elevated as almost like spiritual gurus and leaders. Okay, and um, it, th- there's a strong religious component, and here uh, you'll know because here. Uh, if you look at the his post here, it says, I'll highlight it. It says, you're a Christian, you silly ASS man. So we know you are lost. Okay, so he's talking about, at this point, he's talking about, um, you know, themes of salvation, um, eschatology, or uh, future events. Okay, uh, so he, he's, so he, 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 in his cult belief, okay, which, I need to do more research, but it appears to be a form of sun worship and ancestor worship in old Egypt, okay? Or paganism, just paganism. Uh, these people are so deceived. I don't know what they think they're doing, but they're they're wrapped up in a cult and their minds are being controlled and it's some sort of black power cult. But what makes it ex- extremely dangerous is the fact that it's um, it's got the religious component to it. All right, let's go ahead. Let's check out another... Um, let me check my time here. Dang, I'm at 22 minutes. Okay, so here, you're looking and sounding pathetic. You silly man, you. Okay. All right, exhibit three. Um, I did a video on this, and it's called uh, When Normal Looks Abnormal in the Black Community or something to that effect. Okay, you can watch that video. It's got hundreds of views. Uh, here I write, Normal Always Looks Silly to Low Life. Okay. I remember back in the 90s when I was growing up, uh, I remember that, you know, I remember there was a point where I was dressing, I was, you know, I was listening to a lot of hip hop and I was dressing, um, I was dressing hip hop. I had the Timberlands, I had all the stuff, all the gear, right? I had, um, I had uh, the baggy pants and everything. And I used to sag my pants and wear the the big shirts and I had the hat and, you know, all this stuff. And I, I used to speak the Ebonics and, and act like a fool, all right? Because this is what I was being taught by older black guys who, you know, and and people, some people in my family and this and that. And what's hap- what happened was I broke I broke away from that. I realized that this was dysfunctional. Like this isn't normal to dress like this, to be like this is not normal. It's it's way too close to to the criminal class way too close to gangbangers it's it it just kind of all merges into one you know and that wasn't me I wasn't a gangbanger type but I like you know I liked my hip-hop I liked my Wu-Tang I liked um you know a lot of my east coast rap some west coast rap okay so so you know I'm gonna look at so let's look at some of his pictures real quick okay so let's look at his fashion okay let's go down to uh all right. So he's a. Uh, let's see. I can't really tell what kind of hat this is. Um. 
I can't really tell what kind of hat it is, but he, uh, okay, it's an NFL hat. All right, let me go back. This might be a Seahawks hat. Okay, so let me, I can't really tell. I'm not really sure. I'm not, I'm not really, I'm not 100%. It might be a Patriots. I can't really tell, but let me, um, oh, here he puts his phone number. What a, what a moron. Area code 216. Let's see where this moron lives. 216. Area code. I could actually call this moron and just, oh, he's from Cleveland. Okay. All right, yeah. I'm not going to, yeah, I wouldn't do that. That's just ridiculous. I have nothing to say to him. All right, exhibit three. Uh, Normal. Okay, so normal always looks silly to low life. So when you're wearing baggy pants and when you when you got a big shirt on and when you're looking stupid and all your friends are looking stupid together, everybody else looks stupid who who's wearing their pants the way they're supposed to be worn. Um, I remember back then we used to call people, you know, uh, homosexual, basically another word for homosexual, a slur, a slur. We used to call them homos if they wore their pants a little bit too tight. Now look at black men. Now look at them. Look, look at hip hop now. You got people wearing skinny jeans and all kind of stuff, tight t-shirts, looking like homosexuals, and they probably are. But I just want to show you how the culture is is hypocritical and how the culture changes depending on certain leaders. Okay, so here when you let me continue reading this. When you walk around with your pants around your thighs and speak like you just escaped slavery, people who speak normally wear their pants the way they're supposed to be worn who don't use the N-word to refer to other blacks or anyone, period, will always look abnormal. And this is true. If you talk a certain way and you leave out, let's say, profanity, or if you leave out um, if you leave out uh, the N-word, these type of retards will think you're abnormal and they'll try to call you out on it. But no, he's abnormal, okay? And we, we can tell that. Let's go ahead and look at some of his... Um, Look at some of the evidence of this. Okay, so he's an older man, probably about 47. Um, This, I don't know what he's wearing right here, but this this coat. Okay, so he's supposedly, supposedly a racist, okay? He's supposedly a racist. Um, he likes to use the term cracker, all right? So he's a racist, but he has on an NFL hat. NFL is a, uh, white institution um i'm gonna point out the hypocrisy black american vortex hypocritical thinking that's the next video i'm gonna do hypocritical thinking so um nfl white organization football white sports started by white people here he's repping it hard okay repping it hard all right um his glasses i'm not gonna rip this dude too hard i think he looks corny but you know, his, his, he, he, all right, here he is, you know, the guy's got to be in his, you know, he's got to be in his 40s, and here he is looking like a thug. Let me zoom in on this. Uh, uh, all right, let me just get out of here. Okay, so let me move on a little bit. Yeah, it's, it looks like a Seahawks hat. I should have just looked at another picture. Yeah, he's got on a Seahawks hat. A Seattle team. All right, so, um, you know, he's not particularly dressed like a thug, but he definitely isn't wearing a dashiki. I'm going to put it that way, all right? If, if you're so pro-black, look at all this, all these African people he has on here. Why don't you have a dashiki? Here, let's see. Can can you buy dashikis? Can you buy African garbs? Huh? Can't. I mean, surely, surely he could buy. Here's one for twenty bucks. I mean, surely he could buy uh, some African garb, right? I mean, it looks like his hair online, right? You know, he could wear some African inspired clothing. But uh, he's a hypocrite. He's a hypocrite hotep. And um, they, you know, they, they're hypocrites. 
That's 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 pretty much what it is. They're hypocrites. So let's look at another picture of this guy. Um, you know, I'm doing the anatomy of a troll. Okay, I'm showing you who these people are. Let's check my time here. Thirty minutes. All right, look at him now. He's got a, a Swisher sweet, uh, some sort of blunt in his mouth with the with the with the sweet tip. He's holding cash. Um, you know, he's got that thug look on his face. This is. This is typical of hip hop. Everybody knows, everybody recognizes this from hip hop. Everybody recognizes this from the streets. Okay. Um, this could be any random drug dealer. Okay. This could be anything. But he, here he is putting himself in some position of superiority to me. And intellectually, I would destroy this, this, uh, this low life um, in any discussion. I don't care what it is. And, um, yeah, so here he is with, with some money. Let's see if he's making it rain. Oh, there it sure, sure enough. He made it rain. Here's, here's the money on the floor. And here he is with his goons. Okay, hat backwards. All of them look like, they look like some kind of rap group. Here he is holding up what looks like some sort of gang sign. I don't know what, the, what these guys are doing. These guys are old men. Old men. Here's one of his, um, here's a comment under here. Let me, let me get some of the ducats off the floor, nigga. I got some bills in SHIT. All right, there you go. This is the type of, this is the type of person who's trying to tell me how to be black. Some kind of low life. All right. This is the anatomy of your, uh, low life thug troll in the black community. All right. This kid, this this young man looks like him. This must this is probably his son. All right. I'm gonna guess this is his son. Let me uh he didn't like on it. Uh but somebody else named Ford liked on it. So this is somebody related to him. I'm guessing it's his son. He has the same eyes. Okay. UNLV basketball hat. Basketball is a white sport created by a white Canadian. Um, black people play it. They think it. Uh, they think it's uh, their sport now. Um, African American people, my people. This dude is not my people. Okay, and neither is this guy. They're not my people. I don't claim these people. I don't claim anybody who looks like this. Okay. They may be black, but they're abnormal. This is a thug here. This is a. This is somebody who will probably end up, unfortunately, getting shot by the police, getting arrested. Okay, look at the tattoos on his hand. If you look close, he's probably got some on his face. All right, so here's his, uh, here's his quote here, go hard or go home. Okay. All right. And... I guess this is a picture of him holding up money. He's real proud of it, right? Uh, he's got one like on this picture, and he liked it himself. How pathetic is that? How pathetic is that? That is absolutely pathetic. You're a moron. If you're liking on your own pictures, man, and you're the only one liking on it, and you're the one that posted it, you're an idiot. Um, What an idiot. All right, let's look at let's look at some more of this um some more of this guy's page just to get to know. We want to get to know these people. We want to understand them. We want to we want to understand the stereotypes. We want to see um what's going on with these people. Who who are they? How do they think? How do they talk? Digging and laying concrete is a mother f u c k a. Marvin Sams, I guess a cousin of his lives in Georgia look like money cuz uh, curiously the S is missing here uh, because that would be too white to actually put an S there looks looks like money um, either too white or you know too proper or you know no doubt family I'm noticing something about this dude all capital all caps all the time all caps here we go again 
Can't stop the hustle, family. Okay. All caps. Um, let me let me let me take you to the page. All caps again. I, I'm starting to believe that this dude's uh, caps lock is, is broken. Yeah, I'm starting to believe it's just broken off. Okay, here now. This guy was making some real funny comments. Let me um. Let me go to this next comment here. Um, yeah, I refer to him as being abnormal. <laughs> And he is. He, he's, he's a clown. And these people, these type of people are abnormal. Just a quick, let me digress real quick here. Here's Suddy, General Suddy, his page. 9,569 morons viewed his page. From Naga to Nigga, the history of the Hindu Kush. Okay, here's this thug. Here's the leader, the ghetto leader, the, the ghetto fabulous leader. With his Egypt, Egyptology, and pictures of Egyptian deities, and you know all this, they're so proud of Egypt. It's like a, it's like a person from England bragging on Germany. Everything's about Germany, Germany, Germany. You're a sellout. You're, you're an idiot. Okay, you're an idiot. These are idiots. Uh, they're West African, and they're just obsessed with Egypt. Just ridiculous. I mean, how ridiculous. I mean, these guys are clowns. I mean, uneducated clowns. Oh, here. Here's his, here's his answer. Who is normal people? Do you mean you coon ASS niggas that believe crackers? Here's your racist term. Look at you as if you're not part of those ghetto people you're talking about. <laughs> this guy's a moron. Um, nigga, you're a clown. That believe in Jesus and trust me when I say that you're being laughed kind of with those silly ASS Bible verses. Oh, I see you're trying to recruit lost souls. Ha 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 ha. Damn, bro, you're too far gone and you should go ahead and bleach your skin and color your hair blonde. Just silly. Okay, now I'm gonna take this. I I thought this was hilarious. This guy, this guy's amazing. Exhibit five. I'm literally dying over here. This was actually pretty funny, and it was. I was laughing at the time. Do you see this room? I'm leaving this up because I want people to actually see who this guy is. I want people to see how these people operate. Let's break this down real quick, and then I'll get back to what I was doing. I was working at the time. I'm taking time out of my day to show you real examples of the problems of black society. We have an epidemic of poor, misguided, unfortunate souls in our midst who struggle with basic English who strive to differentiate, differentiate themselves from white people to the extremes of doing everything ASS backward just to be novel in doing it or just to do something new that's not considered white, like wear a Seattle Seahawks hat backwards or wear the jeans baggy because white people don't. That's, that's the mentality. Wear it baggy because they don't wear it baggy. Wear the hat backwards because they don't wear it backwards. Um, moron. Uh, let's see. Firstly, this individual is highly entertaining. Believe me when I say this. Cat Williams and the like are hilarious. He's like Cat Williams to me. He's a joke. But we all know deep down inside he's got issues. We laugh with them and at them. Go ahead and just admit it. I'm really no different. I do feel sorry for these types. And I do, man. I really do feel sorry for people like him. He locked in a cult, in a prison of uh, insanity. Uh, for this example, this individual has no idea what degree I have and has no idea what studies I've done and what I believe. He's probably never seen any of my other videos and will probably say he doesn't need to or want to because I'm a coon and so on and so on. But he'll make assertions about me that aren't true, but there's evidence right there he can click on. Chris Rock said it best. I love black people, but I hate N-I-G-G-A-S. Sad that he needed to use the N-word to really spell it out. This is Chris Rock. But he was simply making a distinction between these clowns that poison and destroy the community with their nonsense rhetoric, their crime, and their five kids out of wedlock. Number two, I see you're trying to recruit lost souls. I'm breaking down his, uh, does this even deserve an answer? Nope, sure doesn't. He's an idiot. I'm not trying to recruit anybody. And he's... He's, I am Christian, but he's, um, he's assuming that I'm giving 
those examples from the Bible as accruing method. And all I'm doing is using it as a reference point because it makes sense. It's like how anybody, you can say something from the Buddha. Uh, you can give a quote from Buddha. You can give a quote from whoever. If the quote makes sense and it fits, it's applicable. And uh, I use some quotes from, from the Bible, from the Holy Scriptures in that last video. Uh, number three, damn, bro, you're too far gone. And uh, that's exactly what I was thinking about him, I wrote. It's sad to see blacks in this state. This person, I guarantee, is a complete lowlife. Probably has a criminal record, no less than two out of wedlock kids. Refers to black women as B, the B word and to women in general as hoes and thoughts. And is just silly as hell. He's silly. He looks ridiculous. Look at him there holding that money like a fool. Doesn't know propaganda when he sees it. That's his whole cult that he's stuck in. A victim of poverty in the inner city hood rat, hood roach, philosophical sand traps. Okay. They have their own little philosophies in the ghetto and in the hood. And he's a victim of it. He's a, he's a, he's a victim. He's an idiot. Number four, you should go ahead and bleach your skin and color your hair blonde. Um, in other videos I do, you know, I talk about cultural appropriation and people, you know, dyeing their hair blonde. And, uh, I don't know if I've spoken about skin bleaching yet, but I am vehe vehemently against skin bleaching. I think that's the ultimate insult to blacks around you is for an African American to bleach their skin. And it's happening in the ghetto. It's happening in the hood. A lot of black girls out there are bleaching their skin. Look at this ghetto singer. Um, the one who uh, the one who got mixed up with Russell Crowe and uh, RZA from the Wu-Tang. Uh, I forget her name, but she's bleaching her skin open out in the open. OK, she's a rapper and she's hood. She, she's just disgusting. Um. So anyway, um, you can read the rest of this quote another time. Let me go back down to my other quote, Exhibit 5. One more comment. Yeah, actually, I'm not going to read all this. You guys can go ahead and, and check this out another time. You can go ahead and read, read it on the page. Um, let me read another one of his comments here. He says, you damn fool, I'm a grown ASS man, and the only, one who, only ones who walk around with their pants low is the youth. Which slick niggas like you, slick niggas. So I'm a slick nigga now. All right. Um, fail to teach. I fail to teach them. What am I doing on this damn channel? You moron. I'm trying to pull these idiots out from your culture, Tory Jones, because you, as an older man, you failed in life. Look at you. You look like a, you look like a, you really do look like a thug in a lot of your pictures. And I'm sure you are. Um, here he says, I bet you the same ones you demonize. I bet the same ones you demonize are the ones running around in your family, which you grown ASS nigga fail to teach and reach. Keep cooning preacher man and see how far it gets you in this day and age. Okay. Um, my comment for this. Everyone have a look at this comment. This comment is very entertaining and it was very entertaining. Once again, N word all over the place. By this point, it's highly predictable. Okay. You already know it's going to be every five to 10 words with, with one of these uh, low lifes, hood witches. Hallmark of low life. Every other word equals N word. Watch and listen. Definition A coon is a black person who entertains white people. Look at your average hip hop video. By the way, hip hop. Rap music, I mean, white people uh, buy the majority of the pop, okay? Um, so you're entertaining them. So you and all these other coons, they look at you guys and they're entertained because they can't believe how, how clownish you guys are. You guys are clowns. Look at you. I mean, let's, let's go back to some of this, this dude's pictures. Hold on a second. Let me click on that here. Okay. Let's go back to Let's go back to this picture here where he's holding 
There you go. You see him. You see him there holding the cash. You're a clown. Look at this clown. Look at his hands. He's a thug. Four likes. Who's liking on this kind of stuff, man? One like, and it's him. He's the dude that liked on his own picture. What a clown. Look at this. Money on the floor. Surrounded by goons. You're a clown. You're a moron. I mean, these people, I mean, these people are, are such morons, man. What they are doing to African American culture, man, is sad. It, it really is sad, man. It really is sad. Um, uh, here he's checked in in Akron, near Akron, Ohio. Okay, he's just leaving, leaving all this information online. Okay, crazy. Okay, let me uh let me wrap this video up. It's kind of long. All right, um, so is it more entertaining for a white person to look at a clown like this who walks around flashing money? I mean, that's pretty entertaining. That versus a black man who's trying to actually clean up his culture and diminish the role of these clowns who think they're the quintessential black people. No, you're a fool. You're a quintessential fool. You're a quintessential fool. You are a fool. You and Seth, you know, clown. There's nothing worse than an idiot black person that uses a word without even knowing what it means. I bet you this guy uses conversate, man. I know he's one of those type that uses conversate. Let's conversate. He probably doesn't even realize there's a word that is converse and conversate is wrong. But he doesn't care. Hood rats and hood roaches don't care about proper decorum. They care about speech. They don't care about how they look. They don't care about how other people see them. And let me talk about this real quick. I'm going to end this video with this. I'm going to end this video with this, okay? I lived overseas for several years. And lived overseas for several years. And um, I know how people think and what people think about black Americans. It's really painful to hear the comments it really is painful and black Americans need to wake up. You need to understand that you look like, well, the clowns in the hood look like, I mean, you look like dysfunctional morons to people around the world. People around the world can't understand you. They can't understand why you do things like take pictures with a bunch of money in your hand and a cigar in your mouth looking like a gangster this is gangsters around the world are not celebrated they're they're hated every culture you go to gangsters are hated every culture i've been to gangsters are, are the lower rungs of society but here he's posing as this lower rung of society he's proud of it he liked his own picture and, you know, and, and, and it's sad. It really is sad. You know, this guy, he could be an example to young people. And he probably feels like he is an example. You know, he probably feels like he is an example. But what he needs to understand is that different countries and different people around the world see him as a fool. And there are African-Americans in this country who are afraid to speak out against him and people like him. They're afraid to challenge the status quo. They're afraid to, to, to do what's right. And there are a lot of African-Americans who don't know any better, who believe that this is how we're supposed to be. Um, you know, I, I, I can pretty much guarantee you this guy doesn't have... Um, I'm pretty much guarantee you he doesn't have a bachelor's degree. I can pretty much guarantee he probably doesn't even have a two-year degree. And it's not even just about having a degree. Um, I can pretty much guarantee you that he he has no degree and he has ver you know no education. He probably graduated from high school. Um, let me go back to his his page. Uh. Air. He said he tells you right here. Works at State Grinding Entertainment. 
okay? Um, he's probably a rapper. PhD in life, hood life, that is. Uh, okay, he says he studied at Stark State College. Um, it, I would I'd be curious if you had if you had a degree. Um, went to school of hard not hard knocks. Um, from Detroit, Michigan, he's followed by 131 people. All right, we got 1,065 friends. Let's look at some of his friends real quick. Okay, so we have this um this uh, crescent moon. I believe this is used in Islam, and um, it's also used in the occult. Uh, we have this all-seeing eye or the eye of Ra here with the pyramid, more occult symbolism. Here we have some more Egypt, <laughs> some more worship of Egypt. Uh, Trayvon Martin. Um, George Zimmerman will get his one day. Um, this is something I can agree with him on. I'm not here to agree with this gentleman, but Trayvon Martin died unnecessarily at the hands of a racist piece of garbage, George Zimmerman. And um, so he's here on the page. I can also agree with him on this picture here. This is skin tone. They said it wasn't beautiful. Um, I can agree with that. I would I would have liked on that. I've dated uh, had girl, black girlfriends who were this color. Um, I've done videos on skin tone on my page. Um, you know, it's not everything that, that I disagree with, what, with some of these people, it's, it's mainly their behavior, their, their outlook on life, their worldview and their tendency towards, um, ghetto philosophies and get and thuggery and, and, and in calling that black Let's see what he's watching here I don't want to see that okay okay so anyway I'm going to wrap this video up here we've gone over time but I just wanted to give you this this anatomy I want to show you how I think and how I dissect some of these people and their arguments and how you can do that too the anatomy of uh, of a of a hotep, um, black power quintessential uh, hood roach, um, thug, and or thug look alike or thug wannabe or just you know your inner city black dude. Anyway, that's all for this video. This is common denominator. Go ahead and like, share, and subscribe.